Ipswich manager George Burley had his team in for extra training on Sunday following their 4-1 home defeat at QPR. Burley described the defending that day as simply horrendous. Up front, though, he has one of the First Division's most highly valued strikers. David Johnson's even been tipped for a shot call-up to the Scotland squad for their Euro 2000 qualifier with England. Charlton picked up the signature of John Solarco today, but there's still no starting place for the former England winger, despite a number of Charlton injuries. The commentator at Portman Road is Tony Jones. We join the action in the first half. Bonus now for Ipswich. Johnson the obvious target. Here's Scowcroft. Deflected in. And Ipswich down in front. Barely three minutes on the clock. And Ipswich make the breakthrough. Scowcroft's shot took a deflection there off Eddie Yowds, the former Ipswich town player. Vilnius for the cross in. Stock will just dummied over the ball. And the ball agonisingly flashing past Dean Kiley. There was a wicked deflection off Yowds. Scowcroft will certainly claim the goal. It's his seventh of the season, and it's just the start which Ipswich Town wanted. Surge and run by Powell. Robinson also offering good support. John Robinson, who scored his first goal of the season on Saturday when Charlton won at Portsmouth. Rufus has been pressed forward. Yowds ready to make his run. And here is Yowds. And there's the equalising goal for Charlton Athletic. It's Andy Hunt. Ipswich caught wanting at their own penalty area once again. The flight of the corner. Deceived the last man in the line, Yards was unmarked there and it was an easy knock-in for Andy Hunt. Hunt's sixth goal of the season, which takes him now level with Clive Mendonca in the scoring stakes. And that will give Eddie Yards an awful lot of pleasure. George Burley has been very concerned about the goals which his side have been leaking this season. Last season they had 24 stopouts in 46 league games. So far this season... They've managed just one in 11 matches. Good work by Clapham, who does give Ipswich alternatives down the left-hand side, but Ipswich again guilty of giving the ball away far too easily. Here's Hunt. It's a second for Andy Hunt. Two in three minutes now for Andy Hunt. And Charlton are now 2-1 up. Good running again by Hunt. But Ipswich woeful in defence once more. Robinson, who was able to thread the ball through there to Hunt. But again, guilty Ipswich of giving possession away. It was a tidy finish, he took it well. Just had enough pace on the ball to creep in in the bottom corner. Which, which have lost three of their last four games in the league. To mark contrast to their opening to the season when they started with an eight-game unbeaten run. Here's Scowcroft. Pushing the back on Mick Stockwell. Jones unimpressed there with Mickey Stockwell's reaction. Ipswich, though, have the free kick. Clapham has come across to take it. Venus forward. Mowbray also in there. with the first header, but the ball was put in the net by Mark Venus.
The player coach has come on and he's led by example. Look of relief there from Tony Mowbray. Good movement from Ipswich there at the free kick. First header by Mowbray and somehow the ball kept out as Kylie scrambled back to get a hand on it. But Venus with the simplest of tap-ins. It's Venus's third goal of the season and it's now 2-2. Johnson. So strong there to hold off Johnson. And that was a terrific shot by Fabian Vilnis. Once more it was Rufus who stretched across to get the ball clear. Johnson so strong here to hold off Yards and to bring Vilnis into play. Shot was goal banned. Rufus ju just did enough. Goalkeeper hesitated, and it nearly proved very, very costly for Charlton Athletic there. David Johnson powering in, and more defending for Charlton here. Charlton under a bit of pressure. Confident catch, though, this time by Kylie, who was bundled in the back by Matt Holland. They're just pouring a sandwich with Holland and Mowbray. We've got a very lucky escape. Just a moment or two previously as well when Johnson powered the header just wide. Charlton pick up possession quickly once more. Here's Kinsella. Now Stewart who's drifted out of the middle. Robinson in the penalty area together with Hunt. Charlton out of the corner. Rufus and Yards have made their way forward. Newton is on the goalpost. Stewart in the six-yard area just behind Richard Wright. Rufus with the First attempt on goal. Ipswich again living dangerously. And that shot was whistling just wide of Richard Wright's right-hand post from Mark Kinsella. They will have taken a deflection on the way through. Great power in the shot from Kinsella. There's Magilton. Now Clapper. Tumble there as Johnson chased after the through ball from Jamie Clapham. Richard Rufus just making the point that their ankles locked. But Phil Dowd is unimpressed and Richard Rufus is now shown the yellow car. Venus over the free kick, he's been known to score for that or a range in the past. Instead, it's Tony Mowbray who comes closest for Ipswich. Kylie just stretching up an arm and diverting the ball over the top. Mowbray once more making his presence felt, he got there ahead of his skipper, Matt Holland. Here's Holland, now stopped it. Holland once more, better movement from Ipswich Town. Vilnius now, a gap just emerging ahead of him. The shot had plenty of sting in it, but there was an easy catch for Dean Kiley. Vilnius pressed further forward at the start of the second half. Solid challenge by Clapper. Here's Holland, now Vilnius with Stockwell just ahead of him. Holland, there's a chance here for Matt Holland. And another terrific challenge by Richard Rufus. Holland is so dangerous when he makes those diagonal bursts in behind the defensive back line. 
It was a terrific through ball by Vilnius and another fine stop by Richard Rufus. Some pushing and shoving going on in the six yard area. And David Johnson has given a switch down the lead. Just check that out, he says. David Johnson, who hit a bit of a barren patch, scoring a real predator's goal. It's a strong header by Scobrock, and Johnson showed great presence of mind there to nip in just ahead of Kinsella and Kylie and to apply the final touch. Johnson able to escape from his marker, Sean Newton. It was a good header by Scowcroft, and it was a delightful touch by David Johnson. That's a little reminder to Craig Brown, the Scotland manager. But David Johnson is back amongst the goals. Moving towards Hunt. Desperate uh, clearance there by Matt Holland, who was really caught by Newton a brave attempt to clear by Holland who was caught in the middle of the challenge there between Newton and Kinsella And again is broken clear. Ipswich have another corner. David Johnson, who's toying with the idea of teaming up with Scotland for the Euro 2000 qualifier against England. That was a terrific attempt on goal. Once more by Tony Mowbray. Mowbray hiding his eyes as he barged in. He's 36 next month, Tony Mowbray, but he certainly hasn't lost his appetite for the, for the game. <laughs> On by Venus towards Scowcroft. Now Stockwell, it's Mickey Stockwell! It's 4 to Ipswich. That has given Ipswich Town some valuable breathing space. Great work again by Stokoff, who was able to hold off Yards and to release Mickey Stockwell. Stockwell's a great favourite at Portman Road and that's his first goal for almost a year. It was well taken too and it was on his less favoured left foot. Able to cut inside Barnes and to apply a very good finish. Stokoff's header on, did well to pick out Johnson and Johnson in turn did well to find Clapham. Brave goalkeeping by Kylie as Holland challenged. Here's Johnson. Ipswich felt there that a hand was used by Kinsella to push the ball away. Magilton now. Terrific drive by Jim Magilton. Does like to let fly from that sort of range on the edge of the penalty area, Jim Magilton. Moments earlier, though, Ipswich felt they had penalty claims when Kinsella tried to scramble the ball away. George Burley on the far right will be far happier tonight. Dale Roberts alongside him in the dugout with his player coach Tony Mowbray still in the thick of the action. Stocker is still prepared to chase for everything. Here's McGreal. And Holland! Good stop by Kylie. 
Goalkeeper did very well to recover there. There's a danger that Kylie would have anticipated making the save then as McGreal floated that ball in. A great, again, great running by Holland. And the goalkeeper did well too. for Magilton, Venus, or for Clapham, who tends to take the more subtle approach. Some discussion going on. Johnson has now joined the Charlton Wall. Could be a blockbuster from Mark Venus. Instead, it's a subtle chip from Jamie Clapham. Never really got that right. Charlton trying to create one last opening. Barnes with Solarco just ahead of him. Newton still prepared to run into an attacking position. But the gamble has played off for Ipswich Town. The presence of 35-year-old Tony Mowbray has helped to shore up their defence after a rather shaky start. Second half goals by David Johnson and Mickey Stockwell made all the difference for Ipswich Town. They've been hesitant at times in the first half. James Scowcroft had given them the lead, but then two goals by Handy Hunt gave Charlton the advantage before Mark Venus pulled one back. A vital win this for Ipswich Town, who suspected that their promotion challenge was in danger of falling apart, following defeats in three of their last four fixtures. But Charlton did enough to suggest that they're capable of maintaining their push for the Premiership. But this was a big, big test for Ipswich. We have a tough month ahead. Just one of their next five games is at Portman Road. And the away fixtures include Manchester City, Huddersfield and Blackburn. Final score at Portman Road then. It's Ipswich Town 4, Charlton Athletic 2. Well, Andy, it must be very frustrating to score two goals and still end up on the losing side. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think we, you know, we started off the game really well, um, and it's just turned out to be an absolutely disastrous night for us in the end. I mean, what could go wrong did go wrong, and uh, you know, I think it's, it's played well, but uh, we've really, you know, caused the problems ourselves. It's a strange game to try and assess because, you know, we've been beaten four-two, but uh, I don't think either the keepers made really any great saves and. Uh, you know, we've been done on a couple of set plays, which is disappointing from our point of view, but, uh, you know, we'll take that on the chin. You know, we've been beat tonight. Uh, we didn't, uh, you know, Ipswich deserved it. And uh, we've had 10 games now, and uh, we've won seven of them, drawn one and lost two. If they do that again for me over the next 10 games, I'll be well pleased. So let's check. the top of the first division tonight it now looks like this Manchester City are on top a point ahead of Charlton and Fulham drop to third after tonight's defeat it must be very frustrating to score two goals and still end up on the losing side yeah I think so I mean I think we you know we started off the game really well um, and it's just turned out to be an absolutely disastrous night for us in the end I mean what could go wrong did go wrong and uh, you know I think it's, it's played well but uh, We've really, you know, caused the problems ourselves. It's a strange game to try and assess because, 
you know, we've been beaten 4-2, but uh, I don't think either of the keepers made really any great saves. And, uh, you know, we've been done on a couple of set plays, which is disappointing from our point of view. But, uh, you know, we'll take that on the chin. You know, we've been beat tonight. Uh, we didn't, uh, you know, Ipswich deserved it. And uh, we've had 10 games now. And uh, we've won seven of them, drawn one and lost two. If they do that again for me over the next 10 games, I'll be well pleased. So let's check. The top of the first division tonight, it now looks like this. Manchester City are on top. A point ahead of Charlton and Fulham drop to third after tonight's defeat. A quick look at the key scores elsewhere in Division 2 and 4-2 to Barcelona in the Champions League. Don't forget tomorrow night it's Galatasaray against Chelsea. That's live on ITV at half past seven. But from Craven Cottage, it's good night.